A two-year-old boy died after complications from an E. coli infection. He and three other people became sick from the bacteria after they visited the San Diego County Fair, and all of them had the, some kind of contact with animals or livestock. They'd gone to the petting zoo. The fair closed down the petting zoo and made sure people have very little contact with animals until the fair closes. That's going to happen on the 4th of July. Joining me now, 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy. So often with E. coli, we hear about it in relation to food, but this is all about animals and contact with animals. You're exactly right. Often we hear about this people consuming infected meat, but as we know, the E. coli lives in the intestinal tract of these animals and others. And these animals carry the E. coli. While it's harmful to people, it's not harmful to animals. These live in the animals. It comes out in their feces and stool, which can be in a petting zoo, or it could be on their fur. And by touching them and perhaps contaminating a cup or a piece of clothing, the person can in ingest that and get sick. And as, Luckily, soon as, oh, as, as soon as there's a symptom, you need to respond so it doesn't get more serious. You're right, and I think it's very important to talk about those symptoms, but I think it's also important to say that it's rare that someone dies from this. It's sure. like 5% of the time. But what you're gonna look for is nausea, vomiting, fever, abdominal pain that's severe, crampy, and diarrhea with blood in it or stool with blood in it. If you have a child or you yourself have any of those, obviously you're gonna wanna get medical attention right away because the sooner the better. Yeah, so devastating. This family with a two-year-old, they go to the petting zoo and now they've lost their son. It's just, it is devastating. What should we know? What What's preventing? Yeah, and I think we have a graphic talking about who's vulnerable. It's yeah. going to be like what we always talk about, people under the age of five. In this case, he was two. People over the age of 65 and people with weak immune systems. Sure. You just want to be really careful. And what can you do to prevent this? I think that's the key here. You wash hands, use sanitizer right away after coming in contact with any livestock. Don't eat or drink or bring sippy cups into the petting zoo because they could get contaminated. Mm -hmm. sure. Change clothing quickly and don't sit or play in the area where the feces may be because then, again, Again, you may step on it with your shoe and you're going to carry it home. So just common sense. But again, luckily, most people that get this E. coli aren't going to die. But there are things you can do to decrease your risk. As soon as you said that, I thought of the mom bag with the snacks and the sippy cups and all those things. You need to keep that out of the proximity of you any of the it. animals. All right. You got Dr. It. Reddy, thanks a lot.